I want you to get better at Warzone. Now, these tips I'm about to give you don't necessarily have to be for Call of Duty. They can apply to other shooters as well. But let's dive right into it because I got some good stuff for you coming up. So the first tip is target prioritization. What that means is identifying all the threats and then ranking them and dealing with them in a certain order. You can see here I downed one, down two, and I focused on the third player parachuting and did not focus on the guy that was selfing behind me, which eventually cost me a life. The second thing I want to talk to you about is picking your battles. If you're married, you know what I'm talking about. So I'm shooting at these guys on windmill and one snipes me. Now, obviously, I don't have the weapon or a sniper to return fire effectively, especially if there's two of them. So I'm not going to fight this. I'm going to back off and get a better angle or pick another team. Now, third, I want to talk about healing. So whenever you down an opponent and you're not being chased or you don't hear any audio cues of, his, of more opponents pushing in, you want to back off that, find cover, and play. You don't want to run too far because it's possible you run into another team and you don't want to stay there because some one of his teammates could be sniping in the same direction and pop you in the head. Now, this one's going to be a two-for-one. So when you use the jump towers and you're going to jump on an opponent, try to land somewhere of height and drop drop down on them. It's incredibly hard to predict where they're going to drop and start firing. Secondly, whenever you down an opponent and finish them, look immediately to your mini-map to see exactly where his teammates are at. This allows you to effectively plan where to go, where to play, where to heal up, and navigate through his teammates. Number six, now don't get too complacent and comfortable peeking an edge. If you hear the slightest audio cue of somebody behind you or in your area, you need to go check it out. You can tell right here, this guy literally crawled up to me. He walked up on me. Oh my God, he crawled up on me. Now we're a little over halfway through, so if you think you learned something, probably should pop that like button, you know what I mean? Pop that like button, right? And go ahead and hit the subscribe button, find your way back to the channel. Let's get on with the rest of the tips. I think these are gonna really help you out, especially the last one. And number seven is changing positions, especially when the enemy can't see you. So you see these two guys, I can hear them coming up the stairs. I'm not camping, I'm strategically waiting. I shoot one, he runs back in. So I change position because I know that's where they're gonna be looking when they come out. Again, they pop smoke, so I change position again because they think I'm either gonna be in that right corner or I'm gonna be holding that ledge. So now Mr. Dilly here is going to help me explain number eight in just a second. Obviously the guy up front and the guy lower both didn't know where I was at and I was able to down both of them and then I pushed in for the third guy. And that brings us to Mr. Dilly. Never parachute and drop on a ledge where you would get stuck hanging. Hate it when that happens, huh? That brings us to number nine. I need you guys to stop pushing for your finish when you don't know where the guy's teammates are at or even if they're down or close by. Be patient. Change position, get at least two down, two down minimum if you're in trios or quads, and then push down to get your finishes. Do not push off the first down to get that one finish, to get one kill when you could possibly get three or four. Yo buddy, you want a 1v1? Now that brings us to our last two tips, okay? Another two for one special here, all right? Number, I guess, 10, right? Get high ground, especially when you don't know where the enemy's at. Get high ground. And number hey, 11 is pretty simple, okay? Now pay attention. Shoot back. You want to do 1v1? 1v1? All right, come on. GG. If you guys were curious about what loadout I was using, I was using the Super E and the BP-50, okay? So I'm gonna give you those loadouts real quick in case you're interested and you wanna try them out. Uh, Boar 99 short barrel, Zem 35 compensated flash hider, the FTAC SP-10 angled grip, 40 round mag, and you can't see it, but the Rescue 9 stock. That gives us the movement speed. Now this thing flies, bro. This thing flies. <coughs> oh, I'm old. 8.2 meters per second tactical sprint. Fastest in the game. Hands down. Uh, BP-50. Cases break. Lower 9 heavy barrel. You can't see it, but the 4 bearer, four bearer heavy stock. All right, that's going to give us the aiming stability. 5.56 five, high grain rounds. 45 round mag. And then that mastery camo if you got it. Probably don't, though. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you like this loadout. If you did, again, like button. Uh, be cool if you subscribe too. I don't know. Maybe. Be good. Cool. All right. Safety officer. Check out the pipe wrench. 36 inches. Gold. Chrome. Weighing at 15 pounds. That's a relic. All right. We'll catch you in the next one.